Hello, hello. Today we have a super interesting topic. It's called Nice Girl Syndrome. Are you actually toxic? So it's a funny title, but it's a good topic. So let's get into it. My name is Amanda, and on this channel, we talk about everything for leveling up and to empower women so we can be the best versions of ourselves. So definitely leave a comment, and I'd love to talk with you. And I definitely gear this more towards high achievers and overcoming burnout because I was definitely that, and how to use our feminine energy to get everything we want in life. So let's get into it. So if I'm looking down, it's because of my notes. So, nice girl syndrome. Are you actually toxic? And femininity, femininity does not equal weakness. So that's the main point we want to keep in mind throughout today's video. But just stop being the nice girl. Like literally, just stop. Like drop it. That's not you anymore. I mean, we all know the nice guy, right? He's so nice that no one likes him. It's the craziest thing, but we want to be sweet, not nice. And I'll get into what that means. So, like the nice girl, the people pleaser. Like, that's actually toxic. And, like, super manipulative when you think of it. Because, like, why are we trying to be so nice? Like, why? Because we want other people to like us. Isn't that super manipulative? Like, we want to do all these things for somebody so that they'll do things for us? Like, no. Like, even, I don't have the story quite right, but in the Bible, like, Jesus would be talking about the Pharisees and the tax collectors and saying that even they love people who love them back, but we need to love people who don't love us back. You know, like, it doesn't matter what the other person does. We need to just... Okay. Like, we just need to be sweet without expecting things in return from the other person. Like, of course, don't be with someone who's just a take, 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 taker. But also, if they are that way, it's probably because you enabled them to do that. Like, the parents who just let their kids live in the basement and play video games all day. Like, the parents are enabling them. They're making the kid be that way. If they told the kid to get out and get to work, and to stay here, you have to earn your keep and listen to me and follow these rules, well, then he wouldn't be able to do that, you know? I guess I'm really passionate because I'm a little out of breath. <laughs> but, like, what's so bad about not being liked? Like, you won't die. I know we think we will, but we won't. Like, it's good to, you know, be free from all of that. And I know where it comes from. It's in our DNA because, like, for thousands of years when we lived in tribes, before we became civilized, or, like, how it is today, like, if we made the tribe mad, they would kick us out and we would die. So that's where we got our people-pleasing instincts from because we knew that to survive, we had to make sure that everyone was happy and we pleased everyone, you know. But that's not how it is anymore. So you don't need to do that. So stand up for yourself. That doesn't need to be angry or mean. You don't need to be angry or mean and nasty. You can always do it with an open heart. In fact, always do it with an open heart. Because then people will feel that loving energy. And like no one likes the nice girl or the nice guy. You know what I mean. Like that's the truth. So just be confident and unbothered instead. You know those friends who are super confident and unbothered? Everyone is trying to please them. Whereas the nice girl or nice guy, they're trying to please others. So we don't want that dynamic. And another point is people don't like what you're giving, okay? Like, just because you want it doesn't mean other people want it. Like, just because you want all the compliments and the affirmations and, yes, you're doing this right and, wow, you look so beautiful or whatever we want from someone else. Like, just because we want those compliments doesn't mean they need those compliments, and I know I would definitely be one of those people who would do that because, like, I wanted to have whatever, like, the compliments or the recognition or the appreciation or whatever it was. 
So I would be trying to give that to other people. So like when someone else would be talking, I'd be making them like a Hollywood movie star, pretty much. Like just putting them on this pedestal, which of course no one should be on a pedestal. But, you know, we all kind of do that. Because I figured that, well, if I want to need that, then they do too. And they don't. They don't. Like they wouldn't appreciate it. They would just think that I had no backbone and was just like too all over it. You know what I mean? So, like, another example is, like, uh, what the nice girl or nice guy would do is they'll go clean someone else's car for them. So, like, they'll, the person will be like, no, I don't need you to do that. And they'll be like, no, I'm going to do it. So they'll go take the person's car, vacuum it, wash it, bring it back. And then the other person won't be so, as grateful as they want them to be. So they're like, I washed your car, I vacuumed it, I did everything. And you really didn't show much appreciation. And see, that's the manipulative part of being the nice girl or the people pleaser. Because the person didn't want their car vacuumed or cleaned anyway. Like some people just really don't care. Just because you want a nice clean car doesn't mean they do. So that was a big thing that I had to learn. And then the other point is just be sweet, but don't be nice. So sweet means you're doing it from the goodness of your heart and because it makes you happy, not because you're expecting things from someone else. So like, do what is true to you and save the energy, save your energy for those who deserve it. And then another thing is journal on why do you feel you have to be a people pleaser? Like what would happen if you stopped? Like, do you have your treasure chest fund of backup money in case, like, you had to move out or, or whatever the case may be? Like, money is important, and if you have that, like, fund, then you can make your own decisions and be your own person, and you won't have to feel tied to somebody. So, I hope that helped you guys, and if you definitely want to go deeper, then check out my course down below. It will totally help rewire how you think, and how you show up in the world, which will then change how the world shows up for you. Because everything is a mirror of how we are. And I know that's kind of a hard truth, and it's not fun. But it also is means that we are in control of what's happening around us. So if what's happening around us we don't like, then we know it's us, and we can change it. So it's super empowering, too. So I hope that helped you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.